say or something. Check it out. Holy Bloody freebies today. Yeah, day. Colby here from Black Creek. Lovely day out in the backcountry. Today we are fishing the section that we finished on last time. Hopefully we can uh, catch up with those couple of fish that they uh, gave us the slip up here. We're going to crack the day off with a dry dropper combo. So, I oh, don't know what's that about a size 12, probably about a size 12 Royal Wolf. And then down below it, the uh, trusty old size 14 Tungsten Pheasant Tail. We've got this bloody uh, flash new shirt to try out today by Riverworks. Um, Got sent out to me the other day, and we're going to give it a good crack. See what she goes like. If it's any good, we'll uh, let you know. Right, yeah, let's diddy him out upstream. See if we can get something on the board. Hopefully, this bloody cloud cover burns off, and we get some good spotting conditions. Anyway, that's enough weather waffle, and uh, let's crack onto it. Bit, uh, a bit rusty on that one. It's all right. Plenty more fish in the river. I hope. There he is. I just had his mate tear down through the pool at about a hundred miles an hour. He was up in front of me, and I didn't bloody pick him up. It's going to give this guy a little bit of time to uh, give this guy a little bit of time to settle down. And then I think we'll throw a royal wolf with an unweighted pheasant tail. Oh, what's he doing? He's going down. He's coming to have a look at us. Yeah, it's never a good thing when the uh, trout that was upstream slinks down to have a look just stay dead still and uh, talk to the camera as he hopefully goes back upstream and commences feeding again that's the one fella alrighty yeah so we've spooked two fish so far this morning uh, not an ideal start but uh, one that is quite typical Old mate is sitting uh, just about there. We'll let him settle. We'll see if he moves. If he moves, we cast. If he doesn't move, we wait till he moves and then we cast. And then he'll probably stop moving and then we'll stop casting. Sounds like some sort of plan. Uh, there is no plan B for this fish. <laughs> Rightio, we've got the big camera rolling. Our fish is just out over here. He's moving around and he's taking something out there, something subsurface. So we're going for a royal wolf with an unweighted uh, size 14. 
I'll roll the dice, give it a jam, see what happens. No plan B for this fish. I think this guy's going to be a one caster. The water's that bloody still that if um, if I line him, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get in another crack. Let's give it a go. We've seen four trout so far. Unfortunately, three of them I know pretty well from about a week ago, and they're not interested in getting to know me again. And uh, the last one we saw, well, he was a trout enigma. One minute he was there, the next minute he was gone. And that's just how it goes sometimes on the river. There's that many bloody nooks and crannies underneath those banks, underneath those undercut rocks that a good sized trout can just blend back into the riverbed never to be seen again. This bit here looks relatively uh, promising. Haven't been up here this season. This is as far as I've been up the river. So we're virgin water from here on up. The only sign I've seen so far has been deer signs, so that's promising. Easy does it. Easy does it. Just stepped on about a four pounder. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days, eh? I can I can tell. Man he flew past me fast. Right from underneath my feet. Fish your feet, fish your feet, Colbert. By crikey. Come on boy. You know when you see them at the tail of a pool and the water's that bloody still, they're going to be tricky to catch. We may just watch this joker for a while. The bugger is sitting very, very still which is concerning. I do prefer it when they're racing around a bit. Sort of lends to the theory that they're reckless. Reckless feeding trout. Not these buddy big cunning brown trout that just buddy sit there and if you don't get everything right and they swim off We're going back to a tungsten bead. I want to put a tungsten bead on it. Tungsten bead's just going to drag the line down below the surface just so it's a little less visible. And hopefully, it's going to help me flick the end of my cast out just a little bit more turnover at the right at the end of the tippet. my theory anyway. What'll probably happen is a tungsten bead will splash in the still water, uh, scare the trout, the trout will swim off, and you'll all laugh. Or will it? Hey, bloody go the All Blacks last night. Ben Smith. Bender, what an amazing game you had, mate. Probably never going to see this video, but bloody good on you, man. Best All Black fullback we've had. Oh. I'm a Hollanders fan, so I'll say forever. Awesome. Rightio. Let's untangle the uh, rig from the camera. Right, what we need to do now is take the net off the bag, throw it on my back, and I don't know which way this guy's going to go if it all works out. 
I'm thinking he's going to go downstream at about 100 miles an hour. We can follow him downstream comfortably for about 100 metres before we run into some real ugly stuff. He's still sitting there. It's got a big head on it. Big head, small body. Don't know how big, don't know how big a fish it is. It's going to be big enough to put a smile on the face though, and that's probably about the best size. Is fishing still a numbers game? You know, do we still go out fishing to catch big fish, or do we go out fishing to put a smile on our face? Maybe only fishermen that don't catch many fish go out to put a smile on their face, like me. All the anticipation is building. Where is he gone? Interesting situation I've got myself into. One good trout sitting down over there, and then down just but in front of this little rock ledge in front of me, there's another bugger. Cast to the first guy, old Mr. One Follow, he came across and had a look, but then the buddy current caught in this, well, the line caught in the swift current down here and dragged the fly, and then he was like, nah, not having any of this. But then as the fly started to drag, old buddy, hide under the rock fella, he popped out and had a look. Hide under the rock fella is a lot smaller than old Mr. One Follow. We've put on a rubber leg pheasant tail below the raw wolf. Sometimes those bloody rubber legs are just enough to piss them off enough that they'll have a go. We'll give them another crack and then we'll, uh, then we'll move up and have a look at the head of the pool because if there's two fish holding in the tail, maybe there's something decent holding in the head of the pool.
bugger, eh? He hit something to the side. The Royal Wolf drifted past him. He took the nymph. And on the strike, it just didn't bloody stick. And then he went a bit funny and now he's gone. But there's two. So he's got a mate just up there a little bit further. I'm going to stop and have a cup of tea. And then we shall reconvene after a short drinks break. Very exciting though. Very exciting. I don't mind balls in and up as long as I'm having fun. Oh, we just got the bloody thermos out. And these, oh Jesus, there's three of them. Two of them are bloody good fish. That guy going across the rock is the one we want. He's a good fish. That's a bloody solid big boy. By Jingo's. Bloody fish going everywhere. Missed a strike. The big fish that's down there got chased off by a smaller fish and then chased two other fish downstream. It's just bloody fish chaos. Typical Black Creek. Fish going everywhere and nothing on the rod. Uh, what can you do? Bimble upstream and see if we can find the next little bit of chaos erupting on the river today. Bloody hard work, I tell you. None of these fish down here want to be my friend. No, they're in there. We've missed a strike. We've missed one strike. We've probably ballsed up maybe four. We'll attribute, we'll attribute five lost fish to, uh, I don't know, can't blame the weather. Probably just the angler, I suppose. Bugger. It's like a World Cup semi-final. We're trying, but we have no possession. <laughs> oh, bugger. Rightio, feeding fish. And we've got a dry fly on. Bloody hell, talk about hard work. That guy came up and mouthed the bloody Royal Wolf three times. And one follow. And wouldn't touch it. And then he tore off downstream. And then he came back and chased the nymphs once. Now he's gone. It is one of those days. It is. We're not going to fail through lack of effort. That's for sure. Gonna try to convince another living creature to eat a small piece of forged bronze and uh, appear on YouTube briefly. Shouldn't be too hard to do, surely.
That's a big old eel. I thought that was a trout. It is definitely not a trout. And uh, on a fly rod, it would pretty much do you. Baiting a large eel with the tip of your fly rod probably isn't the best idea. You're a big boy. No wonder there's nobody trout up here. Oh, crikey dickens. Look at him! Why crikey, it's just been one of those bloody days. I don't think I catch a cold today. I've seen about eight good fish, done some pretty good casting, nice presentations. Yeah, bunged the drift a couple of times, but man, I just haven't been able to make anything stick. I guess that's why they call it fishing and not catching. Really hard to catch fish, uh, but he parked up at home, mowing the lawns or weeding the garden. You've got to give yourself a chance. Get out the countryside and bloody roll the dice. Anywho, we're going to pack up the big camera now and head on downstream. Hopefully we'll catch you guys before we uh, get out of the river. If I don't, cheers and we'll spot you next time. You never know what you bloody see out here. Just saw a massive bloody wild pig. Well, I don't know if it was a sow or a boar, but jeez it was a monster. But he crashed out of here and shot up this gully. Big buddy blue, blue grey bugger. Must have been 120, 140 pounds. Took off with a buddy hell of a crash. I thought it was a deer. I could see it, buddy. I could see his back going through the bush, and it wasn't until I got a decent look at the whole animal and not just the silhouette I realised it was a buddy pig. That's how buddy big it was. Man, that was an awesome fish. I am so buggered. My left arm is just burnt. That thing just kicked my ass up and down the pool in that little five weight and went underneath rocks. And what you could do is, buddy, hang on. Man. <laughs>